I am hungry, so I'm gonna make myself a panini. I love panini, and this is definitely one of my favorite ones. Now I'm gonna make the sauce for the panini, and that starts with a little bit of mayo and an equal amount of apricot jam. This is such an unusual combination, but it's so delicious. A little bit sweet, nice and creamy. I'll just stir this around. I knew I wouldn't want to stop my cooking day and have a big elaborate lunch, but a panini is always a quick and easy idea. All right, that's all mixed together. Now for the panini, I'm using sourdough bread, which is one of my favorites. It just toasts up really nice and crisp. And I'll put a big spoonful of the spread on each half. With panini, whenever you put a spread on the bread, just think of it as sauce. It gets really warm and drippy, and I'm getting even more hungry talking about it. Okay, I got it spread all over the bread. Now I'll grab one of these delicious chicken breasts. Doesn't need to be cool at all. Now I'll slice the chicken breast, and then it'll cover all of this bread. I'm just gonna cut it on a diagonal. Oh, it just looks delicious. It smells so good. I just love a good grilled chicken breast. So delicious. Okay, now for the panini, it's got to have cheese, so I'll lay on a slice of provolone, and then I'll just lay the chicken right on top. I want the chicken to totally cover the surface of the cheese. Okay, one of my favorite ingredients for this sandwich is fresh sage. It just adds this amazing flavor, and I just pull the leaves right off the sprig. Of course, fresh sage is a little on the strong side, so you don't need to use too much. Now, for even more amazing flavor, I've got some really thinly sliced red onion, and I'll just lay it right on top of the chicken. Now, the second piece of cheese, perfect. And then I'll put the lid on top. Now, with panini, you really want that bread to get nice and golden and crisp, so I'll spread some butter right on top. That is totally spread with butter, just the way I want it. Now, I've got the panini maker all nice and hot, so I'll put it butter side down. Oh, I love that sizzle. Now, I need to get butter on the other side, so I'll go ahead and do that. This is my last chance. All right, the panini maker goes down, and then I'll let it do all the work. The panini is sizzling away. It looks so delicious, just perfect, really golden. The bread looks nice and crusty. Now, besides eating it, my favorite part is always slicing the panini open so you can see all that beauty inside. The cheese, the chicken, the sage, it looks perfect.